Hello and welcome. My name is Vukile. We are going to learn the uh, fretboard. And the first thing that we're going to learn is uh, the knots on the fretboard. Um, how to crack them. Uh, there are different methods of doing that. I'll, I'll do um, here a 20 minute long video. Uh, we'll try to crack some methods here and then we will proceed to uh, more interesting matters. Um, first off, this guitar is tuned in um, standard tuning. Um, standard tuning means that this this one here, this string here, is called the uh, E string, and this is the B string, this is the G string, this is D string, this is the um, A string, and this is, this is the low uh, E. So frequencies are increasing as you go down like that and decreasing as you go up like that. And um, the other thing that you might want to note is that this uh, is called a fret wire and this is a headless guitar. Yeah, there's, there's no tuning pegs here. Um, and down here, I, I want to show you my fretboard is 24 frets here up to this one playable 24 playable frets okay so there are markings on the guitar this this mark here marks you on the if you count from me one two three on the third and third fourth fifth there's another marking uh six seven there's another marking on the seventh uh seven eight nine on the ninth there's another mark which is here uh you might find uh, some guitars have a mark here and up here so that you can play without looking at the fretboard and this is number 10 11 and 12 12 the there are two markings here two markings means that you have reached an octave okay you have reached an octave that's that's what it means this is the 12th fret the knots on the open uh, strings is the same as the knots on these um on these um 12 string knots and from there what you're going to find out is um, you're starting all over again up to the 24th fret so you, you're going to have um, 12 13 14 15 you have a dot 15 16 17 you have another dot and then 18 19 another dot 20 21 another dot now my guitar does not end ends here, but you find other guitars have two dots on the twenty fourth fret, twenty fourth fret. So that that is a that is pretty cool with this one anyway. Now the first thing that you have to know is you can start on the A note, which is this one here on the fifth string. This is one method I'm giving you. This is A. Now you can go here, B, uh, let me just bring closer, that's, that's your B, and that's your C, and you go down to the open one, D, and then E, and F, and G is an open one, then again, that's an A, and you go down to the second string that's a B and that's a C here and that's a D and you go down to the string here, which is an open E um, and F and G okay that's not on that so you can you can say A B C a, D E F Okay, that's one method which is pretty simple and you can extend that method to the because we have said it, it, this repeats here so you automatically know here this is A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G that's on the 12th fret so automatically after knowing this one you, you, you know that you know this one here okay so it's, you're starting from a a b c d e f g a b c d e f g okay
Okay. Now, for you, let's go back to this one here. Now, we want to know the notes, the notes in between as well. So, if we go back to this one here, the E, we haven't done the E string. So, this is A, open A. When you're going back, you go to G, which is this one. And the, then you go to F. And G, and, and F and um, uh, E. Now, the other way of looking at it is, the, since this one is an E, and you have E, F, G, then it's also E, F, G. That's one, one way to go. So that's method number one. Okay, method number one. So you have known the, the notes on, on these three frets, uh, the, 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 the notes that are, that are, you know, in the scale of C. Actually, we're using the scale of C here, or A, uh, C major or A minor, A natural minor. That's what we are using, okay? Now, uh, th th that, 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 uh, that scale, or those two scales, A natural minor and um, C major have same notes, same notes. Uh, there are no uh, sharps or flats on those notes that I have just given you. So this is a method of knowing. Now, now if you know that this is a D, you know that that one is a D sharp, Okay, sorry, sorry, you know it's A, A sharp, okay, uh, sorry for that. And let's go to the na next method. The next method is actually dealing with a string after string and note after note. So this note here is E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A. Um, so you know that there's an A here on the uh, fifth uh, fret of uh, first string there's an A and A sharp B and then you go to C between B and C there is no uh, there is no B sharp you know so this is C C sharp G uh, D sharp and an E so you're same you're back to the octave here E and then E E E So you start all over again E F F sharp G G sharp A A sharp B C C sharp D D sharp E That's another E two, the second octave Now you go to the next string The next string is a B C C sharp uh, D D sharp E, E, uh, and um, F, F sharp, G, uh, G sharp, A, A sharp, and B. That's an octave. With, okay. Uh, from there you go to let's be go to C, C sharp, G, G sharp, E, F, F sharp. Uh, G, G sharp here, and an A, A sharp, and B. So two octaves from. So you can go two octaves. Now you go to the next string, which is A, G, and the next note is G sharp, A. A sharp B C C sharp um, D D sharp E that's another E here E F F sharp G that's an octave from the open one G and again G sharp A A sharp B C C sharp D D sharp E F F sharp and G, that's an octave, a double octave, uh, from the open, two octaves, there's an octave there, so just know there's 12th fret and 24th fret and the open fret, okay, now we go on to D, this is the fourth string, uh, fourth string, so you count up, you count upwards, physically, upwards, Fourth string D, D sharp, 
um, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, G sharp, A here, A sharp, B, C, you see this C here, C sharp and D, that's an, an octave to the open one, uh, above the open one, and, and D there, G sharp, um, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, C here, C, C sharp, D, D is two octaves, this D here is two octaves above the open one, okay, now you go to the next string, which is the fifth string, it's an A open, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, uh, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, and, and A. This is an octave on the 12th fret, an octave above the open octave. Okay. You can create a lick like that. Your first lick. Okay. Now from there, that, that's a an A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, uh, F sharp, G, G sharp, and back to A. That's a two octaves above the open string. Above the open string. Now you go to the thick one, which is the same as, it's, it's called a lower E string. So this is E. F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, okay, A, A sharp, B, C, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, that's an octave above, that's an, an E there, um, you go F, F sharp, G, G, then you go G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B and C, uh, C sharp, D, D sharp and E. Okay, so we have named all the uh, notes of the fretboard using sharps. Uh, you can also try using flats, uh, like in the theory, um, uh, a fretboard that I showed you with with notes on it. Mm, we 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 want to go and cover some music, uh, you know, some grooves. So we have to, have to be quick here, and then we, we go to the next thing that you have to know uh, when you are dealing with this. Um, uh, basically, uh, if you know the, the the notes on the, you can choose a string that you want. You know the notes on the say on the lower E. You can actually say this is F, G, A. You're marking on the fifth on the fifth fret. That's A here, and and that's a B. That's a C. Um, once you know this, you can simply try to 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 to, to uh, work out the other notes. And the other thing that you have to know is, like, the open strings here. Uh, I'll, I'll show you. Uh, right now, the tuning method uses unisons, unisons, uh, which we are going to cover in intervals. Okay, so say the open, uh, the open string, this e should sound the same as the fifth string uh, fretted. That's where the unison is. For the uh, for this second string, you actually have to come down here. The same note. Okay, and and that was a a a, a B there, and a C is here. Okay, so you go to the next one. Is this one? I'm playing the three and four. Four fretted. Now you know that this is um, G. 
Mm. And they come here, you're afraid of this one. You know that this one is D. D. Then I come here, afraid of this E one. And that's an A there. So obviously, you can actually come here and say this is A. You're naming them after this A. When you hold it, you name it after the string that is below it. If I do this, I name it after the this fifth string. If I hold this um, um, fifth string, I name it after the fourth string. Now the fourth string was was uh, a D, so that's that's a D note here. If I hold this one, I name it after this string here, which is a G. Now with this one, you have to. Uh, go to this one the fourth 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 fret you name it after the second string I mean the, 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 the fourth fret or on the um, third string you name it after the uh, second string and you go back to there you name it after the um, after the um, first string and back to this one now this one is named is the same as that so it's an A as well. So these are the frets that you have to know uh, without wasting a lot of time. The, the, the fret. Now, this fret here, the open fret, is the same, um, has got the same notes as the 12th fret. That's one fact you have to know. And these frets, this fret here, which is fret number um, uh, five, if you go down here and you count another one, two, three, four, five here. Which is, uh, you see, this is the 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th fret here. They, they have the same notes but an octave apart. And these are some of the landmarks that you, you can use to uh, work out the fretboard notes. And ultimately, to work out the keys as, as you go. Uh, as we go, we will show, uh, I will show you how we quickly go to keys that we are asked to play in. Uh, say you're in a band or you're playing with your friends or something like that so th these are the things so if you know the notes on this uh, open and on the fifth fret 12th fret and 17th fret and then 24th fret is is the same notes as the uh, 12th fret okay that's that's a good starter there are, uh, are other methods that i will show you which are a little bit more advanced um, uh, because our, our tuning is arranged in what is called a cycle of fifths or a cycle of fourths so I will show you that method after we deal with um, some major scales um, thank you very much uh, the other thing that I might want to show you here is when you fret your f uh, when you fret a knot it has to ring it has to be clear so you go just behind the fret wire and then you behind the fret wire any any fret you just so that's what you call that knot there if you go too far it's muffled now the muffled sound is all it's, it's, it's can it's normally used for effects if you go above the fret you run the risk of uh, producing that muffled sound again but it's a sound that is used later on now we will use that as we talk about techniques and if you go up here say on the middle end you don't press uh, your finger you produce that and if you lift it even up like that if it lands before if you uh, sorry if, if you if your finger lands there after you 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 play that you are bound to play some octaves sorry some harmonics harmonics you play some harmonics so the, this this is it so hold hold it fast like that hold it uh, you know tight like this now as you hold just relax my finger is relaxed here so that i can move it to the next one so learn that one learn to to, to play
make sure that it's clear I'm, I'm 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 using with my pick i'm using an up pick like this i'm, I'm just picking it upwards upwards okay uh we will talk about picking methods as well but and the, the for the time being just pick it upwards as you do now after doing this string you go to the next one do a down 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 okay so and and backward so you can do all these strings finally and make sure every string is ringing if you come to a place where there is you miss it go back to the start and and come through it again or you you back off three notes three notes uh like if if, if i'm up for this one i want one two three then i come back so you you have to pass uh there after you have made sure that the note has rung very clearly okay so you, you make sure all notes are ringing clearly as, as you um, as you do your exercise um thank you very much this is fretboard method uh of, of number one okay part one thanks my name is vukile i will meet you in the next video